Robert Carr founded the Caribbean Vulnerable Communities Coalition and he saw it as very important for civil society organizations to come together and to lobby together. So he brought together all the vulnerable populations and he basically said together we can make a greater impact rather than being rather than standing in our separate silos, in our separate departments, so to speak. As a result of that, the Caribbean groups started to talk, women's groups started to talk with GLBT groups, sex worker groups, started to talk with, with drug user groups. The different groups started to talk and realized that we had a lot, of, a lot in common. And many of the things that we have in common are the fact that we are vulnerable, that there are laws that criminalize many of the groups and that there are different stru socially structural things that make us much more vulnerable to HIV than other populations. And so that the impact Robert had in that regard is significant. So he worked with communications with the media through CBMP, he worked with the Sex Work Coalition, with the Transgender Coalition, with the Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual Coalition, with the Coalition of People Living with HIV, with Women's Coalitions, and we could go on and on. And his whole mandate was to bring these populations together to be able to lobby for, to be able to advocate um, in a united voice. You know, it's sad because he left us at a time when he was in the prime of this advocacy, at a time when groups were realizing their their power, their worth, you know. I think especially about the Global Fund and its impact in the Caribbean region and the fact that Robert was strident about understanding the Global Fund mechanism, understanding how civil societies, what civil societies' role is in the Global Fund mechanism and realizing that we have a very powerful, a very strong responsibility where Global Fund is concerned. And so even though the Global Fund is in the region, many of our countries have benefited and it's even leaving the region at this time. It's testimony to Robert's work in helping us to get together.